There's a lot of credit card advice out there that's based in myth, not reality, but it's really easy to fall for because it sounds so real. Incorrect credit card advice though can cost you money and it can hurt your credit score. Here are four credit card mistakes you might not even know you're making. Mistake number one, juggling more cards than you can manage. It's possible to have excellent credit, whether you have one credit card open or many credit cards open at the same time. What matters is how you manage your credit cards, not how thick your wallet is. I've had as many as eight credit cards open at the same time, and I set up email alerts so I know I'm not going to miss a due date on any of my bills. If you have different credit cards for different purposes, like a grocery card or a restaurant card, it's pretty likely that you have had multiple credit cards open at once in your lifetime. So how do you know if you have too many credit cards open for you? If you routinely miss payments, that's a big deal because paying more than 30 days late can have a huge negative impact on your credit score. So you don't want to do that too often. Also, if you've had credit cards closed by the issuer due to inactivity, it's a sign that you have a lot of cards sitting around, maybe hiding in your sock drawer that you're just not benefiting from. And when an old credit card is closed, that can also temporarily affect your credit score. Finally, if you're in over your head with debt across multiple credit cards, you're maxing them out, you're still opening new cards to be able to spend more, it's a sign that you need some help. Credit counseling or other services are available if you feel overwhelmed by your credit card debt. Mistake number two, carrying a small balance from month to month. This is a myth that gets passed down from generation to generation and it just, it just like hurts my soul that people take this advice. There is no reason to pay interest on a balance that you could afford to pay off completely just to raise your credit score. Because so long as you pay your bills on time every month, you will get the same benefit. And even better, pay those bills in full every month so you don't pay a penny of interest. I, I genuinely am so confused by this advice. <laughs> Please don't pay interest for your credit score. You can raise it for free. You do not need to line bank pockets just for the sake of your own credit score. Just stop. Mistake number three, chasing credit card rewards when you have credit card debt. If you have credit card debt, you don't need to focus on finding the ideal rewards credit card for you because right now, the interest that you pay on that existing debt is going to wipe out the value of any cashback or travel rewards you could possibly earn. Here's what to do instead. Make paying off that credit card debt your number one priority. You could use a debt repayment method like debt snowball or debt avalanche to stay organized, especially if you're paying multiple debts off at the same time. And then once you're debt free, you can turn your focus onto a credit card that earns rewards. Mistake number four, getting a card because it's trendy or because your friends have it. Remember when metal credit cards first started coming out and they were so cool. Like when you plunked them down on a counter to pay for something, it made this like really satisfying thud sound and the cashier would comment on it. Listen, credit cards are definitely status symbols, but they don't need to be. It is perfectly likely that there is a workhorse credit card out there, possibly even one that's still made of plastic. It doesn't have a cool design on it. It doesn't make your friends like salivate out of jealousy, but it has rewards that work for you. It earns points where you spend the most money. Maybe it has a low annual fee or no annual fee. You get a lot of value out of that card. And that is ultimately the most important thing. Your credit card does not need brand recognition. It just needs to work for you. And also, don't listen to these myths. Don't buy into them because not only are they not helpful, but they can also hurt your credit score. I'm Sarah Rathner, personal finance expert at NerdWallet. Here's one more credit card tip for you. If you accidentally miss your credit card payment and you get charged a late fee, call the number on the back of your credit card. And more often than not, they'll waive that fee, especially if it's the very first time you've made a late payment. If you have any other questions, comment below and don't forget to subscribe.